Steam Client Beta. I got some nice updates this time, so I wanted to dig in there and check it out. But what we have this time, add an action set layer visual visualization. They added action set layer visualization support to the controller HUD and the ability to bind beeps when applying or removing action set layers. That is, all that means is now we're able to put the same notifications on action layer changes as we were to sets. Now when you switch a layer, you'll get that same little uh, beep or text notification on the screen as you did when you were changing sets, which is really cool. I'm excited about that. A lot of people probably won't use it, but when you need it, it's really nice to have. Fix some cases where the Steam input configurator would get stuck with a blank view when previewing configurations or when deleting action sets. I have come across that. And holy balls fixed a case where adding, deleting action set or action set layers would scramble which action set layer and apply action set layer binding points to. I have come across that so many times. <laughs> what, that, what would happen was basically you're working on some really complicated profile with a lot of action layers or a lot of sets. You no longer need one of the sets or one of the layers, so you're trying to clean it up. You delete that, and then every other single binding got shuffled and changed. And then you'd have to spend an absurd amount of time going combing back through your profile to find every single set or layer change and fix it because it got all jumbled. So that is a huge fix. So, okay, what that's doing is, it's like I have the build layer, apply action layer. Now we can do dis display the change, okay? And then in the build mode, let's go on release. Remove build mode and do a change. Click in, build mode. Let's verify that. Because did I just discover something that's maybe... Let me, let's try a beep on that. So we go in. On the remove, you're not gonna get any kind of notification not giving me a beep or yeah neither of those is applying to release to remove you get it on the apply I was really hoping it would also apply yeah, that, that's a bummer but anyways what it's doing is right there like build mode it's giving me that pop-up like it used to, like it does for uh, an action set. So now I know I'm in this fancy, different menu. I click again, I go out. Unfortunately, it isn't giving me a notification when I release it. That could be something that they could tweak because they just turned this on for the action layers. But I do like having that in there. And where I can see that being useful is... Like previously, I would, um, like this one, I clearly know I'm in this layer because it has a, this radial menu, but in the past, if I was doing some kind of weird tweak, I would put in that action layer, I would make one of the touchpads a radial menu just so I knew that I was on that layer. This way is at least telling me I know, okay, it put in that layer. The only limitation right now is I'm not going to know when this layer gets unloaded. There's no notification currently in this first implementation in the beta. But I still, I feel like that's a, that's a useful thing to have. I'm glad it's in there. Would you still want to use a set? Perhaps for certain things, but really I kind of see action layers have become the evolution of the action sets. 
the action layers are much more... Uh, it's more seamless to me to use layers, but... But what was holding me back was I wouldn't want to turn like uh, like an Arma or something, or even in this, maybe I'll end up having a vehicle control, like a whole change. I would make that be an action set. But then as I'm building the profile, I'm still making a lot of changes to my default set. But then none of those changes are carrying over to the driving set because I made that a separate set. So now if I make the driving controls a layer, I can give them a notification change just like I did with an action set. As I'm still refining the profile on the default, you know, as I'm still figuring out stuff here and changing them around, it'll automatically be updating on this build mode or driving or fly, you know, whatever. Instead of having to, that's been a, a personal frustration. You know, I'd have to keep going through the profiles and refining and making it like, oh, well, you know, the game's in early, the game was in early access. They made some changes, so now I need to change what Y button did. Oh, I gotta go into these other action sets and change that too. But now that we have that little notification of the change, I can treat an action layer the same way I did a set. And that's cool. The only thing I'm hoping is they can add in when you remove that layer that it's going back to the default just so you know that it's unloaded. Like, to me, that would be a useful thing. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to cover that. This, this is currently in Steam Beta. Just came out, uh, I think, yesterday. So yeah, we get... We can treat a layer as if it was a set, and that's pretty cool. Just need that unload notification, too. Then it'll be perfect. So, all right, that's all I got. I will see you around.